Alrighty, guys, so welcome back to Ark, where today we are starting our journey here on the center. So we're going to download. I did already load in and kind of fly around and look at some new stuff. Just kind of check out the map. The, the volcanic biome, I don't know how I feel about it. Honestly, it's too tropical for me. That's, that's all I feel about that. Um... We're going to spawn here on Tropical Island North? No, let's do... Yeah, let's do South Island. Now, as you know, we are going to spawn in with two creatures, Blossom and uh, Littlefoot. If I actually remember to bring them with me, did I? I believe I did. Yes, I got everything I wanted. Um... I didn't really originally intend on bringing the tech binoculars, but you know what? I did bring them. I guess I, I, I will hang on to them. But we got Littlefoot here. He should help us get some a good start here on some resources. If I'm correct. Yep. Look at that. He can break rock and all that. He's even getting me some metal. Bunch of berries. Okay. So grab the wood, grab the thatch, and grab the stone. I need tools now. So let's go weapons. Uh, primitive melee. Pick. Now I gotta go get me some flint. What we'll do here is we'll pop out Blossom and we'll give her the tools because she's going to. What happened to my. There we go. Yeah, she'll get more or she'll do it quicker than I do and she'll get more. We're just going to get a decent amount of flint here to get started. And I think I know where I want to go build a base. And we're going to actually start heading that way here in a minute. Okay. Let's just transfer all that off of you. Um, let's go to weapons, primitive, melee. Get you an axe. And clubs, just in case I run into any creatures I feel like I'd like to tame. Now... I did already go and check out that pyro main. I did tame it and run around on it. Do I have its dossier still by chance? I'm pretty sure I won't. Yeah, I will. I can't see it, but well, I can pull it up, but I technically don't have it unlocked on this character. But yeah, no, this thing is awesome. All right. Having a shoulder pet that can like, it's not like, oh, you have to throw it off and then hold something to transform it. There's quite literally a quick button to do it on, like, while you're riding it. And then it's kind of like uh, trying to deploy, uh, what are they called? When you're, like, using your tech helmet, you know, like, how you hold down the R button. Like this. You know, like, it's over in here. And, like, you, it's a ride reel. You'll access it. And then, boom, you can hit the button to transform it into the large one. I found that pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. Now, what I'm going to do here is we're going to actually start heading towards the mainland. And we're going to see if we can find a decent base location. And technically, I got two places I would like to go. Luckily, the Dima here does actually speed up the more we walk. So as you can see here, he's just hauling it now. And I'm wondering if... I don't know why I didn't do this. Hold up. Blossom. Let's use you real quick. Okay, let's uh, let's use the axes. 
I need a bunch of hide. And you'll actually get me some chitin and hide. Oh, you're a 145. I need to get some swords for Blossom as soon as possible. That would make killing things so much easier. Oh, I knocked it out. How much... I gathered a lot of stuff on her on accident. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, let's give you the picks. Just so that way. I'm not worried about Blossom's health, especially against this one. It does not deal a lot of damage. But, then again, it could always break that Ascendant Saddle. And I did honestly think about just trading out their saddles for primitive ones. But, I think... I think that's something I honestly should have done now. Like, looking back on it, it feels like that would have been more proper. No, it just transfer me all this. Repair. Okay. Let's just get rid of these new systems. There we go. They drop bags. What do they have in those? They might actually have Ooh, 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 ooh. That's a metal pike. Well, I got me a weapon. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Oh, yeah, you've been injured here recently. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to open up or craft up some forges. What do I need? I need fiber. Not hard to do. Okay, do I got enough now for a forge? Yes, I do. There we go. Now I'm short on hide, though. Uh, can you go in a cryopod yet, Blossom? Yes, you can. Thank you. Am I leaving anything good behind? Yes, hide and meat. You know what? I should probably hop on here immediately, too, just so I have it going. Meat production. So I'll also craft up a campfire here. Boom. And then... We'll clear that out. We'll place down. No. Ah, I'm still in the type bar. That's why. I'm hitting E to activate that and, like, pull it out. And, uh, like, so I can put things in. And, yeah, it was just not cooperating. There. We'll do it that way. And then campfire. Boom. We'll just give you every single last bit of meat. And we'll give you that much. Boom. Now that should be producing me some food. So what we'll do here is now we'll take the Dima. And we'll try and cross this bit of the ocean here. I don't know how well this is going to go. Okay, looks like we are actually like able just to walk straight across. Okay. This Dima is tall enough. Now, this is just a one-time size. It's not the oh, not 0 0.9 or the 1.1 size one. These do come in three sizes. I will let you guys know that. The Dimas do come in three sizes. Okay, let's... Uh, I'll get back to you guys once I kind of get more towards uh, mainland. I'm pretty sure he should be fine. The Dima does swim pretty good. I'm not going to lie. And its saddle, I feel like, is kind of raised up. Did we just get... Mantis. No! I swam into a basilo! That's what it was! Okay. Oh, I was just getting ready to pause, too. Dime of full speed. Are you good? Oh, yeah. They barely did damage to you. Alrighty. I'm going to get to my first area that I think would be good for a base, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I just decided here real quickly on our way there that I need to maybe get me a flyer. And there's a 130 pterodon right down the beach here. 
Now, I don't technically have to go for that one, but that's the one I'm going to try and go for. I need Ebola. Not Ebola, Ebola. Again, that was another shitty joke. Not going to lie. So what the plan here is, is that we'll bullet it, we'll, we'll, we'll pop out Blossom, give her the clubs, bolo this pterodon, and then club it. I think that should work. Also, I do realize I can... Oh! What did I just break? That gave me like 300 metal. Hold up. Let me do that again. Anything else around? Metal? Oh, yeah, no, I forget. River rocks probably give a lot better on metal than the ones over there on that beach. So I can probably... Look, up, up here, you see that big cluster right there by his head? Go up there. And there's our pterodon. So what we'll do here is actually... We'll stomp real quick. Oh, look at all that metal. That is a good start today. Okay. You can just kind of put that in there and forget about it. Smithy. Thank you. Thank you. Then we'll place this down. And I'm pretty sure I can start making some uh, more advanced tools now. melee metal pick what do i need for the hatchet need two more pieces of metal five bucks that's already done close i'm gonna wait a minute okay i got my metal come on weapons melee hatchet so get rid of those now what we'll do is boom boom these are technically blossoms two tools in all honesty I'm going to give uh, you all the berries. Just because you need them to eat. Okay, where... Oh, where... Is my pterodon? Did I, oh, okay. For a minute there, I thought I one-shot it. Like, I, like, one-shot killed it. Not one-shot knocked it out. I thought I one-shot killed it. Oh. This dude. Legit. Like, his head. Has to hurt. Ooh, Carno, Carno. I know I can get prime meat from a Carno. I got hatchets, boy! Not much. Ooh. Anything else? Another Carno by chance? Just chilling? I, yep, yeah, I kind of figured you probably would not give me that. Over Raptor? No. I'm just kind of now killing things. I should probably not do that. Do I have a level up? No, not yet. I'm pretty sure I'm max level until the next DLC, like actual like story DLC comes out. So I should be good for a while. Um, Pterodon, what are you looking at? Like, you ready to eat? I just realized this as well. I left the prime meat on Blossom. Um, no, I don't want to give you anything to eat just yet let's uh let's get little foot over here just a little closer so that way he's a bit more of a like protection for it i just stomped on a monkey i didn't even realize it i was just trying to get This is getting dangerous. I really shouldn't do this. There we go. 
We're going to be done collecting metal for a minute. It's just good knowing that Littlefoot is a metal collector. I did not even know that he would be good for that when I brought him. I kind of I kind of was honestly thinking, all right, I'm going to have a safe mobile base like platform to ride around on, and which I do, but I also got someone that can gather me a lot of resources quick. Ooh, there's a Baryonyx, a Raptor, Ferrazino. You know what? I didn't even check your stats. Let's actually see what we got on you. You know what? For a 130, I would say 20 in health and 20 in melee is not bad. I'd prefer a higher stamina, though. But if it was a 150, I would be looking for 30 in each of those. I just noticed a Tapajara. 190. Or, not 190. I'm an idiot. That's a level 90. Damn, I can't believe I just said that. Ooh, it's a 190. Yeah. There's, 190s can't even spawn. I'm going to try and kill this raptor. I know I really shouldn't. But I'm going to. Also, Blossom. I forgot that Mantis' swimming are, like, really slow. I think this is also an alpha raptor. I really hope it's not. But if it is, I'm pretty sure Blossom stands a chance. I'm going to risk it. I need the prime. Did I kill the raptor? Oh, I did. Okay. Oh, there's piranhas. That's... That's okay. Okay. Now this pterodon is actually taking up quite a bit of my time that I would like to have used to get closer to the base location. Um, if you guys don't know, it's one of the it's one of the ancient ruins that's in the center of the map, kind of like almost direct center. I figured that'd probably be a good place, or we go up to the snow biome. I know that's a little bit more risky, but I actually kind of like the way it looks. Or what we might do is just keep doing temp base on the back of Littlefoot for a while. And then we will eventually go build a base on the Lava Island. But that's kind of dangerous. Alright? And if I had a water creature, I would just go straight for the underwater dome. It's still there. I looked. It's there by the Skull Island. Which is awesome. But... Yeah, alright, I might just kind of sit back. We're gonna wait for this guy to get this gal to be done. I'm gonna make sure I have a saddle for her. What do I need for a pterodon saddle? Pterodon saddle. I need chit and fiber and hide. I know I just got a bunch of chit and didn't I? 90. Where's the chitin? Chitin. I'm betting I'm still short. No, I just got a perfect amount. Damn. Give me the hide. Give me the meat. Give me the... Okay. Just trying to make sure I didn't leave anything important on Blossom. I might actually have to make her her own separate pair of tools as well. That actually would not be a bad idea at all. Let's actually do that real quick. Okay, I got her tools. Um, now I'm just waiting for metal so I can get me a bunch of fiber so I can craft a saddle. Alright, so we're almost we're almost ready to go. But it's almost dark. You know what I should do? Do I got stuff for a bed? I know that takes more fiber. Mm, yeah, I will, but I'm going to wait on that metal. Ooh, that one looks really cool. The zebra colors on the pterodons. It's a black and white. Oh, I might actually, you know what? 
No. Yeah, maybe. I'll I'll try and remember that when I get to breeding the pterodons into the genetic library, that I want black and white on them. That looks really awesome. How much? Like, you're going to eat here within real soon. Do I have the metal yet? Yes, I do. I was waiting on two pieces. Okay, let's go. Weapons, melee, boom. This, I was literally just waiting to get the stuff for a tool. A single tool. Kind of, And you look at that. I got me a hot bar bill. Um, you know what? I think next I'm going to shoot just straight for a flak armor. And that's just because of how much metal we've gotten today. I know it. I can do it. I thought I heard something behind me that sounded like a Dilophosaur. Honestly, I haven't even seen a Dilophosaur. And there's a Pterodon. Monkey. I know I can do it. Approach the monkey. I'm just taming. I don't know why. I'm like really needing. Yep, 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 yep. I'm not going to be able to do this. I know, I probably shouldn't have killed it, but I didn't want him to have to deal with it. Okay, so, Pterodon title. Boom. Back. Surprised I actually was able to kill an alpha today as well. That's actually pretty, that's actually pretty incredible. Honestly. Okay, you're equipped with those. And, boom, saddle. Now, let's just cryo you up for now. I'll, now I got a flyer that I can use when I need it. Make sure I don't forget any prime meat. Get Blossom and nothing important on her. So we're good to go. I'm not joking. We were right there around the corner. The place I wanted to go was right there. So we were quite literally around the corner. So we were not far from the first location I wanted to check out for a base. You want to know what? Those are actually the wrong ruins. Now that I get closer, those are the wrong ones. Maybe they're not. Maybe I'm just on the wrong side. But I'm pretty sure those aren't the ruins I wanted to build at. Or at least I think I'm sure. I might be wrong. Do I... I could just quickly pop out the pterodon and check it out. May as well. You know what? Yeah, that's what the pterodon I got for. So that way I could fly fly around and check out. Make sure that I wanted to build in the location or not. You know? That's why we got him. Got her. Sorry. I know I keep on always misgendering them. Although it doesn't really matter. But... um, Don't think this is the one. Although it looks nice. Maybe. Um. No, but this is the entrance to the underground. Okay. I guess it's good that we know where it is now. Entrance to the underground. Um. Gonna do a little bit of a scouting around the next corner. See if there's anything I see. Yes! No, that's it. No, that's absolutely it. Yeah, no, I, I know where that is. So we got to get down the beach here quite a bit. Okay, so I got close enough here. What we're going to do is now hop on Pterodon to see if I actually want to build here. Because on in honesty, I don't know. Because I've been thinking about it. And building on the back of Daima or Littlefoot there keeps feeling more and more appealing to me. So I think I might do that. Um, I thought this might be something hidden. I guess it is. It's kind of more like a, I guess, a rat hole for somebody who wants to build a rat hole base. You got one right there. 
And I guess not really a rat hole, but it's a hole in the wall so that way somebody can build a base there. I could imagine, like, there'd be two or three people that could have a base built in here and they probably would still run into each other, but they'd still probably have plenty of room for, you know, their own bases, off shootouts, you know. I bet there's even some rat holes around here that I have that I can probably find. That dude just fell out of the ceiling. Let's get a bit of a vertical here. Get a look around the map, you know? Okay. Uh, I got a plan. I don't know, though. So I know the dime was right there. Ooh, you are almost out of stamina. Good thing I spotted that. Boom. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and fly to that center island. And you know what? No, no. The Daima base, I'm kind of just sold on it. Let's do that. Build a base on the back of the Daima. So I'll get him to a flat spot here and then I'll kind of think this over a bit more. No. Come on, land. Thank you. Okay, so I got me a flat spot built. Couldn't really find one. So I figured next best option is place down eight foundations and then walk him up on them. Okay, is that flat? I feel like it's as good as we're going to get it. Because he keeps rocking back and forward. Um, I need wood foundations. Uh, yeah, let's just do eight for now. Okay, so I got a good start here on the foundation. So what I do is I just kind of lined it up here with the center line. And then... I think that's a good start. Can I... I might be able to hang one more... Or a row with ceilings, at least, off the back. And then we can have, like, a, a 3 by 8 Let me see. Do I got enough for some ceiling? Ceiling foundations. I need four. Let's do that. And then uh, once those are crafted up... Do I got railing? Um, let's just do 20 railing for now. I'm pretty sure I'll use it all. But you never know. I might not. And may as well. You never know what you're going to be. Got a different idea all of a sudden. Let me... There's the quarter ceilings. Let's just craft up what's left of those. And then I'm going to kind of experiment around here and see if I can get a decent foundation built. Okay, I got a bit of a decent railing. Don't know, though. Again, it's still... Still a bit of an experiment here. It's this back bit that I'm just eh about. Because it's the railings. Ooh, ooh, actually, you know what, now that I think about it, let's do this. I'm gonna pick up the quarter walls. He's pooping. Um, let's do... Kinda just makes it look like the... Yeah, your weight is... That's not gonna work. Damn. Um, I think if I put pillars off of these ones and then connect it, it should help. Do I got enough for pillars? I bet I don't. I need fiber. I gotta go get me fiber. I wonder, can I equip those on Blossom to get fiber? Also, 
let's uh we're gonna put these back down temporarily just so that way I do at least have I need that uh a place to throw some of this extra stuff I don't need at the moment. And as well, I put down the campfires again and now we got some light. Um, can I get me some armor by chance? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need fiber. Everything needs fiber, and that's what I'm very low on. Yep. Uh, let's see if we can equip Blossom with uh, the sickle. I'm pretty sure I can. Yes. Now she's gonna. I don't think she's getting any more than I did. Actually, no, she is getting more. A lot more, too. gonna be up made this makes it a lot easier now i should always just kind of use blossom to gather she gets it a lot more okay there we go the pillars definitely help look at that it's kind of barely noticeable and i think we're actually getting a really good start here so you guys can't tell i just kind of worked on expanding the platform mostly and it looks like it worked perfectly um although I do kind of want a, a hatch frame down. Now. Lad. Now, if I climb down. I'm going to kind of make a second floor. I really don't know how this is going to work. Um, I guess we can put one there. I need another pillar. That's wrong thing. Doom. Okay, then I'm also going to need ceilings. And let's actually see if we can get a ceiling. Where did it go? I keep on doing that today where I'm not fully out of the was it I'm not fully out of the search bar and it, you know. Let's do yeah. There we go. That looks really cool. All right, I think I need two more pillars. And we'll also use these up. Uh, I need two more ceilings. I think this is going to be pretty awesome. I don't know what I'm going to do down here, but I think I might just use it more as like a storage kind of place it just kind of makes it look more like the saddle is you know full hold up I forgot oh I've messed him up okay there we go lock him in now we're good I hit the space bar to lock him in but yeah see it's kind of looking more like it's uh, supporting. I'm wondering, though. I've done this in the past. The railing technique. Uh. Well, it's kind of working. I think we're good there. It I'm I'm not going to mess with it anymore. 
I'm going to just go put some railing down here on the back, though, so that way when I come down, I don't fall off. Okay, so I kind of got an idea of what I want to do with this. It might not be a good idea, but let's pop you out. Can I land you back in there and you stay put? Oh, nope. I don't think... Yep, that's not going to work. Alrighty, so I kind of got a decent setup going here. I'll show you guys it here real quick. As you can see, it's nothing too fancy, but I'd say for a base, it's looking good and looking like it's going to work. So I'm not going to complain about it. We're just going to keep going, keep building. It looks good. It looks good. Alrighty, so we did get the, the base kind of built up. I got, guess I got me a house built. It's all wood. Most of the stuff was gathered here using Dima a while ago. Um, it's looking good though. I like it. I'm not lying. I do actually kind of like it. It feels homey. So we'll pick that up. What did, it, what did I leave there? Charcoal. Charcoal's always good. I'm kind of just keeping all of it. Because again, we do have to uh, at some point make gunpowder. Or we'll be making gunpowder. Don't technically have to, but we will be. Then boom, we'll light it up in here. And yeah. Look at that. That is the base. It looks awesome. I eh, I guess the front's the only thing I have a problem with. I feel like maybe I should loop. <gasps> yep, no, I know exactly what I need to do. Oh my god. I ain't gonna lie, I just got this thing building, and I ain't gonna lie, I just had the hugest, like, deja vu moment. Like, because every time, I feel like every time I've always played on the center, I've done a, a platform base. Like, it's either a boat base where I can, like, travel around, but, like, I've never done one on the back of a creature, you know? Just right off the bat. And it's, it's feeling good, it's feeling good. Alright, I feel like we got a really good progression today. Now, I think I need to focus on making me some armor or getting me some armor here soon. So that way I'm not, like, one-shot by any creatures that come by. That's my biggest fear right now is I'm one-shot. And, yeah. Really don't want that to happen. I'm going to just demolish all these thatch foundations here real quick. And we're going to kind of get moving around. Uh, and uh, I'm going to kind of figure out what I want to do here. Because we do got the mobile base. I figure that we got to kind of uh, start on making resources. But this mobile base is just kind of supposed to be temporary to begin with. I do actually have to find a place to set up a proper base. So that way I can have farms and all that on the center. And yeah, it just does not look like we're going to be doing that right now. Also, there is a thing with platform saddles that when you start walking away from where you've placed them, their lights disappear. Now, it's a bug I do not like. Uh, there was the Christmas lights you could use on platform saddles technically and they'd still give you lights but then again I'd have to have the Christmas event put on so I could have those but in terms of the base now like actually like where I put that lip up there on the front it looks better now I know the ceiling looks weird and I did put a hole in the ceiling with the ladder just so that way I did have access to it I just kind of made sure that, like if there was a flat spot on the back of this I had access to it just like that little bottom area there. And I still don't know what I'm going to put there. At all. So. But anyways. I figure this is probably a good time to do this. We had really good progress today. So if at any point you have found yourself liking this video. Please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also remember to ring that notification bell. So that way you guys get notified upon me posting videos. And one last thing. I am running a YouTube channel members goal currently trying to get 10 active members i'm currently sitting at two it is a dollar 99 to join and once we hit that goal we will be opening up an arc server for everyone to play on so yeah anyways it's been gun chai signing off peace <laughs>